Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are doing really great. And so we will be taking a look at the latest in terms of what is happening for the Caribbean and surrounding areas as well. And so uh, before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Alright, so we're starting out looking at this surface chart and uh, several tropical waves are marked here for across the, tr uh, the Atlantic Basin. So uh, one is in the Central Caribbean, another is noted across the eastern part of the basin and then outside of the region uh, extended into French Guiana. There we have the axis of another that will be approaching in the coming days and another is recently marked uh, on this surface chart here off the coast of Africa. Yeah, so let's return to this satellite imagery here and we can see that there's lots of activity across some areas across the uh, Gulf Coast states of the U.S. and also some southeastern states. Uh, we see that there's lots of thunderstorm activity developing this afternoon and there's also some activity out there in the North Atlantic that is in association with a disturbance which uh, we could see develop into our next name system, Dawn. And uh, there we have some activity across the tropical Atlantic, that strong tropical wave, another uh, likely behind it. So another wave is likely to be marked in the coming days there we have lots of thunderstorms uh, over in parts of Western Africa. Across some parts of the Southern Caribbean and Northern South America, here we can see that there's lots of showers and thunderstorms developing this afternoon. So lots of moisture out there favoring that instability, which in turn leads to the development of all that shower and thunderstorm activity. So that's what we're seeing happening this afternoon in the Southwestern Caribbean, especially over in Eastern Honduras, going into Nicaragua, Costa Rica and Panama. There's lots of activity there and uh, persistent heavy rainfall can induce flooding across flood-prone areas. And then across the southeastern Caribbean, Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, the Grenadines, some activity as well. And it is likely that as that tropical wave approaches, it will help to enhance more rainfall, especially going further up north into some areas which are currently dry, not experiencing too much for the ABC and similar story, pretty dry. So uh, today has been a pretty sunny day. And so uh, let's move further up north and we can see the extent of all this activity so lots of moisture as i said and it is also pretty windy across most of the lesser antilles right now so uh, likely windy for most of you guys they are going to puerto rico the virgin Islands, not seeing much going over into the western caribbean looking into uh, the vicinity of jamaica there is some activity developing some thunderstorms across some uh, northern parishes which could spread into other parishes and it's also pretty windy here as well but uh, going over into cuba and hispaniola we see a bit of thunderstorm activity across some spots and uh, over into the Yucatan we see some thunderstorm activity there as well even in some spots of Belize not much going on for the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands as I said for Florida and other parts of the U.S. there is some activity this evening a bit of thunderstorm activity close to Grand Cayman so that is what is happening and now we want to go ahead and move on to the Saharan air layer map so uh, we can see that again we've had we have lots of dust out there which is typical for this time of year and uh, there is that strong tropical wave so we see that it is not in an area of abundant to dry air uh, if it was we wouldn't be seeing that much activity in association with it so most of that dry air lies to the north of it and even some denser areas of dry air as well because as we look more to those uh, shades of reds and even going to that pinkish shade uh, those are areas of a lot more dry air and then heading into parts of the Caribbean, there we see that there is some noted in the region as well, not as much, but still there nevertheless, there is that activity in association with that tropical wave. Now, in terms of that wave that recently emerged off Africa, if that one is going to manage to sustain some activity, that is how it will help to continue the trend of these waves managing to reach the Caribbean with enough, uh, with enough activity to induce uh, rainfall. And once it remains beneath that layer of that dense dry air and dust, then it certainly has a chance to try to uh, maintain all that activity. And in terms of development, some models were sniffing at something but not showing anything too major, at least for the next week or so. And I don't really think that this one is going to develop as of now I give a very, very low chance 
but only time will tell and as per usual i will continue to track all that is happening and keep you guys posted on it and now we want to go ahead and move on to our disturbance so the chance has risen uh 40 percent chance of development now in that medium range uh and uh this area of disturbed weather is just to the northeast of bermuda and so it will move into that shaded orange region where we could possibly see some development take place however it should grab this opportunity now if it wants to become something because once it is going to be accelerating more toward the north later this week it will be moving into some cooler waters and that will prevent any further intensification and so guys uh, i'll continue to monitor all that is happening for you and that is pretty much it for this update and so i hope that you found it to be quite informative and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i will respond once i get the chance and remember to always be weather wise